2013, the latest flagship CPU from AMD is the FX8350. So this 8-core CPU that we're overclocking today in this video has the Cooler Master Sidon 2400M liquid CPU cooler. Now, this pile driver architecture that this CPU is using is an improvement over the bulldozer. I had previously in this machine the 8150FX CPU running at 4.6 gigahertz. This one here is going to be running much faster and we're going to compare and see how well it did. Now there are some improvements of course, but when it comes down to it, for $199 that it currently costs today, how much of an improvement and enhancements can we really get from this 8 core chip? Now, because it's using the basic same design, except for the pile driver, the level two cache assigned to four cores each, it does have level three cache, eight megs of it, and it does have improvements. But let's see, when we overclock, and I'm gonna go through the screens here on this Asus board that I've got, I'm setting things up to load the extreme overclocking profile. I'm gonna manually set things up, set the multiplier to 23.5, set the bus speed to 205 around there and of course disable any power management uh, settings there that uh, can get in the way with overclocking it. Now remember we're, we're trying to overclock safe we want to stay within the limits of the temperature so this being a 125 watt uh, CPU we want to stay within 60 degrees to 70 degrees maximum at full load okay Obviously, if we can get it to be below 60 degrees Celsius on full load, terrific. However, when I overclock to extreme on these types of boards, like this Republic of Gamers Asus board, um, temperatures shoot right up really fast, right? So we're going to set this up to 4.8 gigahertz, as you can see here, at 1.488 volts for the CPU with extreme calibration enabled means that it will increase the voltage beyond 4.88 as needed. So when it's running at 100%, uh, it'll go up to 1.5 or more uh, volts. And then when it's on idle or doesn't use all the eight cores, that voltage will come down. Here's the um, brand name of the, uh, I'm sorry, the model of the ASUS board and the memory type in case you're wondering about the memory timings and the um, brand name of this uh, Patriot uh, memory that I'm using here and of course I'm running two uh, AMD 7950s in Crossfire. Now I did see a substantial improvement in benchmarks with this new chip and um, Crossfire. Okay, I definitely saw a huge improvement. Now um, PC Mark 7 scores, just to give you an idea overall on these, um, it didn't do too bad compared to the 8150 that I had. A slight improvement, not crazy uh, you know but a slight improvement you can see here the scores I'm comparing different types of chips and overall PC mark 7 score results okay so definitely a jump in improvement but not enough to uh, beat the Intel Core i5 or Core i7 overall however in 3d mark vantage you can see here the GPU score and the CPU score that I got definitely a big improvement on those two compared to what I had earlier and uh, you can see here, again, the CPU score much higher compared to other chips that I had uh, tested with. Cinebench, okay, we're running OpenGL rendering test using the CPU only or using it in combination with the graphics cards. Definitely saw an improvement there in um, overclocking and having this CPU running at 4.8 compared to the... Um, FX8150 that I had overclocked at 4.6 gigahertz. There was a boost here of performance for sure. AMD does uh, recognize and claim that there is a substantial increase, maybe 10, 15%, and I do see that increase here, especially when I overclocked it to about the same. Now, obviously, 4.8 um, gigahertz is, is higher than 4.6 gigahertz that I had on the 8150, but it's not just that. I mean, in W prime here, look at the results, 7.132 seconds to calculate to uh, 32 million and uh, definitely high scores there. In uh, ADA64, again, it positions this chip halfway in between. You can see how it compares it to other CPUs and the overall scores on the CPU queen results. So not bad at all for $199. I mean, you can even get 
the 8150 that I reviewed not too long ago with a liquid cooler now on Newegg for $199 all, all in one. So you can get this one without the liquid cooler or you can get a liquid cooler for the 8150. I'll add the links below if you're interested in seeing those deals. And again, I'd like to thank AMD for providing it. Comment below, let me know what you think, and thank you for watching.